In problem number 16, we're looking for the limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 3 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. And this is just your typical factor and cancel. And the denominator factor is to be x minus 3 times x plus 1. The x minus 3 factors in the numerator and denominator cancel, and leaving us with a 1 in the numerator, producing a removable discontinuity at x equals 3. So now when we plug in x equals 3, we'll see that the limit is 1 over 4. We'll go on to problem 17. Problem number 17, we have the limit as x approaches pi of sine of pi minus x over pi minus x. And this is a similar problem to the important limit x approaches 0 of sine x over x equals 1. And you have the same exact thing here as x approaches pi, sine of pi minus x goes to 0, and pi minus x also goes to 0 in the denominator. Just because it's 0 over 0 doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It means it's an indeterminate form, and we have to use other types of uh, analysis to, to verify the limit and to evaluate the limit. You could graph this on your graphing calculator and see that the limit here would also be 1. But it's the same basic problem as limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. And we'll look at problem 18. In problem 18 we have f of x is x squared plus x over x when x is not equal to 0 and x equal and y equals 1 when x is equal to 0. And this is another factor and cancel problem. We would have x squared plus x over x is equal to x times the quantity x plus 1 over x. Those x's would cancel and you would get that x squared plus x over x is identical to the function x plus 1 in every way except when x is equal to 0. The original function doesn't have a value when x is 0. So in the piecewise function, it is defined to be y equals 1 when x is equal to 0. And we can see from our factoring and canceling that when x is equal to 0, y would also be 1. That means that the limit as x approaches 0 is 1. and the value of the function is also 1. So we're ready to answer the three questions here. f of 0 exists. Well, f of 0 is equal to 1. It's stated in the piecewise defined function. So that's true. The limit as x approaches 0 of f of x exists. And we've seen that that is 1, so that limit does exist. And finally, f is continuous since the limit at 0 is equal to the value of the function at 0, then the function is continuous at 0, and so all of those statements are true. We'll go on to problem 19. In problem 19 we're asked about the limit at infinity of 2x squared plus 1 over 2 minus x times 2 plus x. Well if we multiply out the denominator we're going to get 4x 4 minus x squared in the denominator, 2x squared plus 1 in the numerator. Since we're looking for a limit at infinity, we're concerned about the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. They're both second degree. The numerator is 2x squared and the denominator negative x squared. So that's going to give us a limit of negative 2, negative 2 over negative 1. In problem number 20, we again have a limit as x approaches infinity, 3x squared plus 27 over x cubed minus 27. We're only looking at the leading terms or the degree of the numerator and denominator. Since the denominator has a higher degree, the limit will always be 0. You have x cubed in the denominator, x squared in the numerator. So that limit will always be 0 and we'll continue in the next video.